Hi everybody and welcome back to Cozy Corner Crafts. So today's craft is going to be something we haven't done before. And this one is going to be a little house, but it's going to be a house for some type of animal. So in your craft kits, you're going to be getting the following items. You're going to be getting a paper plate. You're going to get a square like this which is going to be the door for your house. Then you're going to get a black one to make a chimney for it, your house. And you are going to get two yellow squares. And what do you think it would be in your house? If you had a door and a chimney, a yellow, maybe you look through them. Windows? Yes, they're going to be windows. So in your kit, you're also going to get some foamy animals. So this one has a turtle and a fish. So this one's going to be a fish house or a sea house. There's going to be um, ones that could be dinosaur ones. Some of you will be very excited about that. And the other one is safari animals. So you might get a hippo or a chimpanzee, some type of item like that. So let's start. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my red shape, my red square, and I'm going to make it into a door. So I think it'd be really nice to have a door that is rounded at the top. So I'm just going to cut it and there's my door. And if I wanted to, or if you wanted to, what you could do is you could cut it out and make a little window in the door. Some people have that on their doors. And you could draw a black circle for the doorknob for it. Then I'm going to take my black square and I'm going to make the chimney. So how big of a chimney do I want? Maybe I'll make it a nice short that chimney. There we go. And then what I'm going to do on my paper plate is you can keep it like this, but I'm actually going to cut the bottom off. So I'm going to cut it so um, so my door will sit really nicely in there. So if you would like to do it, so there's my door or my bottom of my house. So if you would like to, before you go and put everything on, if you have some watercolor paints or some paints, or if you have some crayons or some felt pens, you could actually color your house. Okay, so let's get this together. So I'm going to bring the camera down. Okay, so here is my little house. So I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to put my door on. And I could put it in the center or I can put it somewhere else on the side, but I think I am going to put it right in the middle, right like that. And then I'm going to put my windows on. And if you wanted to, you can trim them down. It doesn't have to be the same size. And you know what? I think I am going to leave this window like this. Remember, you make it the way you like. There's the one window. And here's the other one. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on both sides. Now, what do you think we should put on next? Should we put the chimney on? Okay, we'll go put the chimney on. So I'm actually going to put it on the back of the paper plate. There we go. And then the last thing I'm going to do 
is I'm going to put my foamies on. And I hope your foamies work. And actually, they should be sticky ones. I always love the sticky foams. So I'm going to have it that the sea turtle is going to come to the door. And then the fish, he's going to be swimming up top. If I can get the stickies off. There we go. And he's going to be up here. Okay. So there you go. Here is your little animal house. Or, in this case, the sea house. And, again, we would love to see how you did yours. And we'll see you soon. And if you'd like to send your picture, info at Mournville Library. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye.